The Bible is clear that Jesus has chosen to save us through baptism. That baptism is the definitive ascent of faith. In John chapter 3, in a clear reference to baptism, Jesus tells us, you must be born again. In Titus chapter 3 verse 5, he says he saved us not because of works done by us in righteousness, but according to his own mercy, by the washing of regeneration and renewal of the Holy Spirit. We cannot baptize ourselves. It's a work of mercy. In 1 Peter chapter 3, verse 21, we hear a very explicit, baptism now saves you. In, chap- in Colossians chapter 2, verse 12, we read that having been buried with him in baptism, in which you were also raised with him through faith in the powerful working of God. And in Galatians chapter 3, we read, Children of God, though through faith, as many of you were baptized into Christ, have clothed yourself with Christ. Matthew chapter 28, verse 19 through 20, says, Go, therefore, and make disciples of all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, teaching them to obey all that I have commanded you. For I am with you always, until the end. Jesus puts faith and baptism together. Accepting baptism is the ascent of faith. Not something done by our own righteousness, but something done through the mercy and love of God.